After you've made your initial recording and your new project is open, you will have many features available to you for editing and enhancing your video. First, let's look at all the menus located at the top of your screen. The first menu is the ScreenFlow menu itself. In the Preferences tab, you will have three different tabs to choose from. The General tab has some useful selections. You can change the countdown time to be shorter or longer. You can change the default transition to another transition, and you can also create your own hotkey for recording and pausing other than the default, which is Shift-Command-2. The Advanced tab allows you to change the kind of magnification and what kind of screen compression to use. Lossless simply means that very little or no compression is being used. If you choose lossless, the file size will ultimately be much larger, but the quality should be exactly as was originally recorded. You can install or deinstall the audio driver, which is the driver that allows the audio to be recorded from your computer. And you can designate a scratch disk location, which is the disk location that is utilized while recording with ScreenFlow. The License tab simply allows you to insert, change, or upgrade your serial number and to deactivate it. On the File menu, you can add an additional recording to your current project, or you can use this tab to start a recording. In addition, you can export directly to Flash or YouTube, as well as use the Export tab, which we will go into further detail about later. The other options in this menu are self-explanatory. The Edit menu provides many of the same functions that are available on the timeline, and we will discuss these further when we are working on the timeline. The Insert menu has the option to add text or insert a file from your directory. The Font menu and Actions menu also contain features that we will look at in more depth when we get to the specific properties boxes located to the right of your project canvas. The View menu has features that allow you to zoom in and out of the canvas, as well as the timeline. In addition, this is where you can turn on and off the Scrub Audio feature, the Show Waveforms, and the Snap features, which will be discussed when we talk about the canvas. The Window menu will show you what projects you currently have open, as well as any markers you have created on your timeline. Markers will be discussed in more depth when we look at editing on the timeline.